Excellencies, distinguished leaders of the governments and the water community, warm greetings to you on behalf of over 580 million Christians who make up the Global Fellowship of the World Council of Churches. I am delighted to note that after almost 50 years since the 1977 UN Water Conference in Mar del Plata, Argentina, on the World Water Day 2023, the United Nations is convening this water conference in its headquarters in New York. I want to make sure you know that the WCC is committed to water justice. Since 2006, we have provided leadership, spiritual direction, and solution-oriented dialogue through the Ecumenical Water Network. We believe that water is a gift of God, a public good, a fundamental human right. We oppose water for profit and financialization, commodification, and privatization of water. We promote the water for life. And we have lived this out since 2016, when the World Council of Churches became a blue community. As the Christian community, we are in the season of Lent which is a time for self-denial in order to focus on repentance and consecrating oneself to God. Two billion people around the world do not have access to safely managed drinking water. And about four billion people do not have access to safely managed sanitation facilities. We cannot turn a blind eye. We are currently offering a Lenten program known as the seven weeks for water, to engage people in praying, reflecting, and acting to address the global water crisis. The UN Water Conference is a lifetime opportunity to make sure that by 2030, all people will have access to water and sanitation. We urgently call for world leaders to, one, respect and act for the human right to water, to promote blue communities and say no to bottled water and to the privatization of water, three, to create an intergovernmental mechanism at the UN to address the global water crisis, four, to protect water defenders, and five, to engage faith communities in addressing the water crisis. I wish you well for a successful UN Water Conference. We will be standing in solidarity with you as we work together to make water accessible to all people.